Okay, let's say that we're asked to find the center of mass of a plate that starts off as a square and then has a triangular section cut out of one of the corners. And let's say the dimensions of the plate are 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And the sides of the triangle that was cut out were 6 centimeters and 6 centimeters respectively. The center of mass will be somewhere inside the bounds of our plate. And let's put the coordinates, uh, say, right there for now. We can use algebra and calculus to find the exact coordinates of the center of mass. So where to begin? Well, the first thing we can do is place our shape on a coordinate grid. So let's say that this side here is along the y-axis, and this side at the bottom here is along the x-axis. And if we did that, we'll know the coordinates of all the corners. So for example, this corner here would be 0, 0, and this corner here would be 10, 0. And the top right corner here would be the point 10, 10. And this point right here would be 6, 10. And finally, this point here would be the point uh, 0, 4. Because we know if this is 6 centimeters above, that this must be 4 centimeters from here to here. So we have the coordinates of all the corners, and what we also know is the equation of the boundary lines that make up the shape. So for example, the line at the top, this side right here, would be the equation of that line would be y equals 10. And along the bottom, the equation of this line here would be y equals to 0. The equation of the vertical side, this one right here, would be x equals 10. The equation of the left side here would be x equals to 0. So what we want to do is find the equation of this diagonal line here. Well, we have two points on the line. This corner point here, 0, 4, and the top point here, 6, 10. So we can use those two points to find the slope of the line and then use the slope point form of the equation of a straight line to find the equation. So first off, slope m would be y2 minus y1, which would be 10 minus 4 divided by x2 minus x1, which would be 6 minus 0, which gives us 6 over 6, which gives us a slope of 1. And then we use the slope point formula, which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 to find the equation of the line. And we just substitute our values. This is x1, y1 here. And this is our slope, which is 1. So we can say y minus 4 equals 1 x minus 0. Distributing the 1 across the brackets, we get y minus 4 equals x. 1 times 0 is 0, so we'll leave that out. And then we isolate the y by itself, move the 4 to the other side, so it becomes x plus 4. And that is the equation of that side of our shape, our plate. 